On the edge of an island, overlooking the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, is a hidden cove filled with pools of steaming hot water, falls warm enough to rival a luxury hotel shower, and views that are postcard perfect. These naturally fed hot springs are aptly named Hot Springs Cove, and they are definitely worth a visit. Stick around to learn more. We woke up this morning to this lovely view of the boat basin here at the Canadian Princess Lodge and Marina. Today we are driving to Tofino, which is about half an hour drive from Eucolette, and we are catching a boat at Jamie's Whaling Station to go out to the Hot Springs Cove Island. There we will hike along the shoreline until we find some natural hot springs gouged into the coastline. I'm very excited, so stay tuned. The cove is located in Makina Provincial Park and can only be reached by private tour as the springs are on First Nations land and only a certain number of guests can visit at a time. We chose to complete our tour with Jamie's Whaling Station. They would be responsible for boating us down the Clayoquot Sound to Makina Island and they teased us with the potential jaunt out to the open ocean to do a little bit of whale watching as well. The boat ride to the island lasted about one and a half hours and was really relaxing and fun. The waters in Clayoquot Sound are very sheltered by all of the islands surrounding it, so even my husband, who is quite prone to seasickness, felt perfectly fine. Uh, the ride coming back, that was a little different. You'll see what I mean later. Along the way, our captain regaled us with stories of the history, wildlife, and natural resources related to the many islands we passed. We even got to go out on the boat deck to enjoy the sunshine and the fresh ocean spray. We reached the dock at McKenna Island and were told we had a 30 to 45 minute walk along a boardwalk before reaching the springs themselves. We'd then get about two hours to soak and would have to make sure we were back at the boat in time, so we had to time everything well. So we just got dropped off at the harbor, we went up the dock, and now we are on the boardwalk walking through the rainforest to get to the Hot Springs Cove. The boardwalk is a two kilometer hike through the rainforest. It's all boardwalk though so far, so you're not walking in mud or anything. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. As my son pointed out, this is not wheelchair accessible. The boat driver today was saying that some of the trees in these old growth forests are between 500 to 1,000 years old. And check this one out, I believe him. Look at the size of this tree. I don't know if it's even getting captured on film properly.
finally, the boardwalk led us to some steaming hot, bubbling water. We'd made it to the Hot Springs Cove. I don't know if my camera is catching the steam, but it is steaming. I think it is, yeah. This water is hot. The cove area provides washrooms and change rooms for visitors, but please note that all garbage you bring must be carried back out with you. There is no garbage truck service on McKenna Island. Brought sandwiches, granola bars, water, fruit. We're having our lunch before we go to the hot springs. Getting down to the springs requires a little maneuvering on rocky ground, but we made it. We first encountered this steaming hot natural shower. Past the natural shower, little hot pools begin to form in the cove's various cracks and crevices. Hotter at the top, then cooler at the bottom, where the cold Pacific Ocean blends in with each wave. If you get too hot in the top pools, make sure to head down to where the ocean meets the springs in order to cool off. Then back up to the top to warm up before having to leave and make the long boardwalk trek back to the boat. That was definitely worth it. That was so relaxing and gorgeous. My feet hurt a little bit from climbing on all the rocks, but still well worth the trip. Just so you are aware, if you come to the hot springs, you do have a two kilometer hike back up the boardwalk to the marina. So time your walk as you come to the hot springs so that you know how much time you need when you're walking back so you don't miss your boat. Remember how I said the boat ride back wasn't as smooth as our arrival? That's because our captain made good on his promise to take us on a little whale watching excursion out in the open ocean, where the waves were much choppier and significantly larger than in the sound. We are out on the open ocean right now and it is bumpy. Big rolling swell as opposed to closer together waves like that, so we go ahead from the bay where it's a little calmer. The water was so choppy that my husband got seasick and my son ended up throwing up off the side of the boat, along with a few other guests. And our captain said the waves weren't even that bad. Man, I'd hate to see what bad is like. Oh 
It was all worth it, however, as we did get a few whale sightings in. Very exciting. To say we had an amazing day at the Hot Springs Cove would be an understatement. Thank you so much to our captain at Jamie's Whaling Station for making our day so special. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to let me know by clicking that little thumbs up button, leaving a comment, or even sharing it out on your social media so it gets more views. Thanks to all of my returning subscribers for your continued love and support. I truly appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you did. Click that red subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I publish a new video. Happy travels, everyone.